I know a few of you probably think I haven't been putting out enough lately. You know, I've had a headache, okay? But how about a kukri video that I've been shooting since... Oh, shit. March? The reason it's taken so long is because I'm really striving to make it the best video I've ever made. You're going to share it with all your friends. All of the jokes will be hilarious. None of which will be recycled from previous videos. Also, internet trolls everywhere will jump into the closest, hottest volcano. And I'll be featured in the trending section along with all the cool tween TikTok compilations. I'll get thousands of really new amazing subscribers that will all become patrons and buy t-shirts. And it's going to be great. Okay, that's not true. In reality, I know it's not the latest titanium boutique bull turd. But it chops and there's a chance I could seriously injure myself. Well, in what appears to be my last kukri video for some time, I don't have any currently on order, let's take a look at my favorite kukri, kukri? Manufacturer's modern take on a classic concept. The Kalash Scourge anniversary and a performance grind. Not to be confused with the standard Kalash Scourge, which has a, you know, pleasurable ridged spine. And I believe it's called the anniversary because it's an appropriate gift for your significant other on the occasion of the same name. So let's look at the dimensions like the overall length and weight with and without that stacked leather sheath. So, uh, what have you been up to lately? I've had motorcycle classes and family's been in town and uh, also no motivation. Blade length and cutting edge. I try to make sure I post those unrelated things on my Instagram because I'm sure my followers would like to know. A little harder to convey the no motivation thing. Handle size and grip area other than uh, lack of posts. But I don't want you to think I've ghosted YouTube or Instagram. You know, I'm still here. Spine thickness and handle thickness. I did decide to make a video this week, so I hope you're happy. <clears throat> Sorry. I decided to make a video this week, so I hope you're happy. So I hope you're happy. Okay, the Scourge, which uh, not a lot of people know is a synonym for humanity or also new TikTok video. The Scourge is a big ass kukri style blade. It comes in one of three grinds of your choosing, the thinnest or performance grind, then the standard grind, or you know, just mid-size spine, and then the heavy duty, which is the thickest. My particular version uses the thinnest grind called performance in a rough satin finish and made from 5160 carbon steel. I believe they're all made from 5160. All their blades, K-lashes, of course. The performance grind keeps the big 13 inch blade with a full tang well under two pounds. And uh, I just realized I said, this knife is well under two pounds, like it's a good thing. Carbon steel, of course, must be cared for and dried of moisture and lubed often to keep from rusting. You'll see later in the video I could have cared for it a little better. However, if we refer to light corrosion as patina, I can charm my way out of being a neglectful knife bro. The most important thing to learn here is guy who never lubes down his blades telling people on the internet to lube down their blades. But a little brasso helps out in a pinch if you forget to dry it after use. Anyway, the handle. The handle also has multiple standard options like Indian rosewood, white rosewood, and buffalo horn. I think you can email them for custom Macarta options now, but I chose the hornier option because it's a pretty tough material and normally holds up well to whack in it. However, I might point out there are a few fractures in the horn near the key on that were on the knife when I received it, which would it be a spoiler to say those might be problem areas later in the video for an idiot whacking on wood. The handle is smooth and pretty comfortable, although the peens do protrude a little from the handle on the sides. If I could make one improvement to the handle, which Kalash actually could do if I just emailed them first, I'd make the front finger guard a little smaller so the handle material isn't so thin there. Okay, and maybe flush up those peens. You know, it's things that you notice after you get it, which look cool when you order it. The sheath. Your basic kukri comes with a dap sheath, but the Kalash gives you options. You know, if you're a heretic and not fond of the dap style like myself. My favorite is the optional welted and sewn western style leather, which has two retention snaps. Most importantly, praise Lynn that it's a dangler. So the butt sits below the belt line, which is what I like on my big knives. I don't like them sitting above it because it's harder to pull. I know I could just cross draw. There's also the loop at the bottom, which could be used to loop some paracord through as a leg lash. All in all, it's a pretty great sheath and it would be perfect if it came with a standard leg lash. Comparisons. First, the Scourge. This cost me about $240 shipped. 
It's a little rough around the edges. I technically bought this before I got the pensioner, and I see a better fit and finish and attention to detail on the pensioner, meaning that if I ordered this one first and the pensioner after that, they've improved, which is good because I've been making videos for years and have not. I prefer the shiny or polished finish to the satin scene here because it's, you know, more even. This one kind of looks like it was done with a wire brush or some steel wool. And the stack leather handles they started uh, fitting some of their kukris with is awesome. Like here on the pensioner. I don't know if the stack leather lends itself to the scourge because of the aggressive finger guard, but I'll bet they could modify the finger guard. The pensioner scene here is also very nice. It's light, it holds an edge extremely long, and no need to sharpen mine or the scourge for that matter because both came push cut paper sharp and have had no issues with edge rolling or chipping. The sharpest big blades I've ever gotten. Now the Bud K. After years of abuse, this one still holds up and sharpens pretty easily with one of my Chack Max from my heavy ass Himalayan import Kukri's. It doesn't hold an edge long, but you know, 20 bucks, it ain't bad. Now here is a Himalayan import with Buffalo Horn. Handle fitment to the Tang is much better here than on the Kalash. No gaps like on the Scourge but the balance isn't anywhere near as nice as it is on the Scourge. Kalash saves weight in its grinds with tapering, and the two Himalayan imports I have seem to take no consideration in weight saving or tapering other than visually versus performance. Make it thick, boys. These guys are going to be prying off car doors with them. And finally, the Zombie Tools Vacra. Overall, the Zombie Tools has a better fit and finish in the handle area, and it's more comfortable there. This is about a $280 blade, although the manual labor that goes into hammering out and thinning Kalash's Kukri's is more intensive and takes longer to make. The balance of the Kalash is better though. Zombie Tools leather wrapped handles provide a tad more friction to the hand than the buffalo horn. Are we at the wrapping it up section? God, I hope so. I spent a bunch of time reading Kalash's website. You know, I know sex is good, but have you ever gotten up at 4 in the morning to work on your YouTube channel and spent a few hours reading Kukri Company's FAQs? I believe it's Andrew who runs their Instagram Kukri Thirst Trap feed, showing off all the sexy custom orders and the process of making Kukri magic. Although, not enough bathroom selfies. However, all this sort of stuff sets them apart from other places. Andrew is the designer of the original Scourge that the anniversary is based off of. I'll link a thread below about the Scourge that was originally made by KHHI or Kukri House Handicraft Industry and then copied by several other Kukri places, which explains why the Scourge is available at several different places when Andrew is the original designer. Now he works with Kalash and has helped them guide their social media presence, direction, and designs of Kalash, which is only a few years old now. The two Kukris I have ordered from them come with pictures during the manufacturing process, which is, you know, pretty cool. Their prices start at about 100 for basic stuff and go up from there for custom orders and designs. The blades are made one at a time, so make sure you build in a month or two for them to complete your order. Remember I said earlier on the finger guard there looked to be some faults in the buffalo horn. Well, they did fall off during the chopping section and not the hammering section like you'd think. I zoomed in to check. The chopping section was the first thing I did. I mean, I did hammer on the handle later in the video with a piece of wood to dislodge it from some other wood I had no business trying to baton through, but I may wind up filing the key on back a bit and rounding where the buffalo horns ended on the Kalash. The finger guard comes down so far, my hand never hit that area during use. It's more ornamental than functional, like this channel. Anyway, I love the Scourge and the Pensioner and also the Zombie Tools. Those are my three favorite. I really like Kalash's designs and I was really happy with how that leather stacked Pensioner came out. I don't know if I'll ever buy another big ass custom chopper from another company, because these are pretty cool. The Scourge doesn't do well with batoning ridiculously large pieces of wood, which is not a surprise, which I attribute to a combination of the fibrous, meshy grain structure of cottonwood and the recurve of the kukri, and the wood just being too damn big. However, it excels at chopping wood, more so than my big knives, and if you get a smaller diameter log, it does pretty well with batoning. But through the course of the video, I beat the hell out of the blade, and the edge is still pretty sharp. Anyway, check out Kalash's website and their Instagram. Both are miles ahead in terms of transparency and clarity over the other Kukri houses. DM them on Instagram or email them through their website for any questions or custom orders. Probably more email for order questions. They can modify existing designs too. Anyway, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and, you know, Kale Ash too. Think about buying one of my unpopular t-shirts and signing up for Patreon or just becoming a patron to help directly support the bullshit found on this channel 
even though I'm not making a whole lot of videos lately. Thanks for watching.